à tous de DDO, attention pour le décompte final. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, top. Allumage vulcain. Allumage EAP, décollage. We had ignition, you saw it, Area 5 beginning her mission, rising off the ground here in French Guiana with a lot of fire, beginning her fourth flight of the year right on time at 17.30 local, carrying UTELSAT 25B, SHL-1, and GSAT-7. Under me, you can hear the DDO's voice saying that all is well on board. Fine shots of a daytime launch, which is not always the case, always impressive, no matter how many times you see Ariane powering up into the sky. A launch is something quite sensational to witness. Right now, the boosters are providing over 90% of the total thrust, propelling the launcher along its trajectory at ever higher velocity. Weight at liftoff over 770 tons, which is a lot. She's burning 5 tons of fuel per second, which is also a lot. 2.5 tons in each booster, if you can imagine. And the core stage, the central stage, burning another 300 kilos of fuel every second. Ariane 5 is now following the flight program in the onboard computer, which gives all the commands, including stage separations. We're in the first of four flight phases. The first three are powered, and the last is not. We'll be describing each in turn. You can follow Ariane as she heads east across the Atlantic. Right now, in the first uh, flight phase, the Vulcan engine and the two boosters are burning. The boosters will burn each their 240 tons of propellant in just under two and uh, one and a half minutes. And are the, they have the first we get rid of. You will hear the DDO call out that milestone. In just about 10 seconds. We're heading east, as we said, out over the ocean. The decision to build the French Guiana base here was made in 64 when France wanted a new base, in part for its opening on the water to allow for launches over uninhabited areas. And there you see the boosters. There are the two lights on either side. They have been separated, and the light in the middle is the main stage continuing to burn. That's what it looks like up there with the onboard camera. There's another booster which is out of camera range. The onboard computer detects the drop in fuel and separates them. Is that right? As they had no more propellant to burn, the, the thrust decreased, and the onboard computer detected the drop in acceleration, and therefore it decided to separate them. Fine shots, as, uh, as we mentioned, the sky is so clear, you could see the first stage continuing to burn. Give, a, give us a look at the, uh, on the upper left, on the lower left of the screen, you have a cursor crawling up there, and then you have some numbers. Uh, we're expecting the fairing separation in a few moments. Go ahead with the your curve. curve uh, represent uh, the expected trajectory, and the moving white dot is the actual position of the launcher. Below there are two items to look at. A stands for attitude in kilometers and V for velocity in kilometers per second. We've had separation of the fairing right on time. That's what it looks like. There's another half which is out of the camera range. There are two pyrotechnic cords, two sets of pyrotechnic cords, I should say, that separate the fairing, right? 